Hello, my beautiful loves. We're going to be doing the full moon in Scorpio read for tonight. It hits at 11.30 around that time. <coughs> Excuse me, that is Eastern Standard Time. This Scorpio moon is about, are you going to reveal yourself or are you going to stay hidden in the shadows? It is the contrast of the darkest of the dark to the lightest of the light. And this moon is really asking you to be very honest with yourself, to take that plunge and to really put that ego aside and just say it all, just be as authentic as you can to reveal the deepest truth. And when you do that, it will give you the highest enlightenment. This is going to play out over into tomorrow and over the next couple of weeks. So we're going to take a look at the shadows first, you guys. And um, this is going to be around Twin Flame Union, Soul Connections in Separation, and about your life path and, and where you're going in your journey. So we're going to read this a little differently. I'm going to be a little bit more into a channeled energy. Um, I don't know. I feel it's going to be a little deeper. So let's get started. <coughs> we're going to see the overall shadows that are playing. Here's so I'm just going to fix my camera just a little bit. There we go. Um, we're going to take a look here and see what energies are playing out in the shadow side for your connection, for your journey. We're going to take a look first and see just whatever comes out as the overall energy spirit. This is for the full moon in Scorpio. Please don't mind my cough, guys. For those that are new, I'm still getting over COVID, so I did a lot of talking today. Let's see the overall energy. Spirit is saying about becoming naked to the stars. And this is really beautiful because this is exactly what I was just saying. Are you going to choose to be naked to the stars? And so let's take a look. Spirit is guiding me to look at the shadows. We can either stay in the shadows or we can become enlightened. We can just do the hardest thing. I know how hard it is to be very authentic and to put it all out there, but this is what spirit is asking. So this is what this full moon is asking. Spirit, what shadows, if we chose not to become naked to spirit, which is a number nine, 18, what is, uh, what is that spirit? I'm just going to turn this music down. So we're going to get more atonement, okay? So Spirit is saying, you can stay in the shadows if you wish for now, um, but that's not necessarily, um, you're going to gain your atonement here, 31, 4. You're going to have to feel those swords in your back, okay? And if you continue in the shadows, this will continue. We're going to see what happens, what's happening in regards to that energy. Can I have another card, please, if we decide to stay in the shadows? Spirit, if we decide not to reveal ourselves with this full moon and be honest with ourselves, what are we having here? The child I was meant to be. We're going to suppress this, you know. A lot of us, especially really awakened souls and twin flames, we have to go through very difficult childhoods. We go through deep traumas. We're highly sensitive. We're of a different vibration. So what is happening here is, you know, this is the atonement that's going to keep coming until you're ready to heal and completely, you know, I'm looking at this, Spirit is showing me the way that this is growing is the same way that this is growing, kind of like when we suppress the growth of our inner child wanting to come out, we then put another sword in our back, okay? So that atonement and that suppression is going to keep that up uh, in regards to uh, the shadows. Now, if we reveal ourselves naked, and we decide to gain our highest enlightenment and do that hard work. Spirit, what can we expect if we take the full moon and Scorpio's advice? Hmm. That bride in a cage, okay? It's going to release you from this bride in a cage, from your entrapments, from your past, okay? We have one more. Calling in the storm. This was on the bottom of the deck when I was first uh, looking at the deck. So when you gain your high um, enlightenment and you've decided, I'm going to just be honest, I'm going to reveal my truth. Uh, Spirit is saying, by you 
getting, it's like she's getting ready to leave this cage. She's looking out and she's like, okay, this is it. I, I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm ready to get out of this cage. It's a number three, could be heartbreak, third party situations. But it's, I'm ready to break free. And I'm gonna, and that's another three, three zero. So we have two threes, okay? Christ consciousness, Buddha consciousness, very high consciousness. We are calling in the storm. That means we know it's gonna create a tower moment. We know this enlightenment is going to disappoint a lot of people's expectations, the roles that I have fulfilled in their life. Uh, a lot of people aren't going to understand this. I may be very lonely on this path, but this is the risk. This is what highly evolved souls do, okay? We don't follow what other people tell us. We have to follow this inner truth because if we don't, we're going to keep doing this pattern here. We're going to keep denying this inner child, the innocence that we're meant to be. That's the expression of, of spirit, you know, when we can tap back into that as children, that innocence. And when we do that, um, if we decide to suppress that, we continue to hurt ourselves, right? Yeah. Wow. Spirit is really bringing me to pull some divine masculine, divine feminine cards. So just give me a moment because <coughs> I wasn't planning on doing that, but spirit is really guiding me to that. So yeah, we're going to see what the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies are going to be at, okay? So just give me a sec. Let's see what happens to the divine feminine energies if she decides to stay in the shadows and not be true to herself. What about divine feminine energy spirit if she decides to suppress this inner child with this full moon, not reveal herself, not be express herself to her fullest, and she continues to gain her atonement? And the suffering, to stay in a place of suffering. And it, that can even be in a twin flame connection. If the connection is painful, we have to surrender that to the divine, right? When we do that, that starts to heal that inner child. So it could be that too. Whatever is causing you suffering and suppressing that inner child and it's not healing, this is the shadow aspect that needs to be looked at. Let's take a look for divine feminine. If we stay... In a place of the dark plenty we disable our abundance okay this is pomona and she is the goddess of harvest she is the goddess of manifestation and if we continue to suppress this aspect of ourselves and our inner child we will stifle our own abundance let's take a look and see what the masculine energy is doing if the masculine continues to suppress himself <clears throat> with this full moon and not come forward and be honest with this full moon and Scorpio spirit. What is this energy here for the divine masculine in the shadows? What is he suppressing? What is he suppressing? We've got two. Okay, Achilles. Now the Achilles is a very sensible uh sensitive spot in, in on your in your um on your heel, right? This is about confidence. If we don't have the confidence, Divine Masculine will continuously, uh, won't be able to walk strong is what I'm seeing. Well, if you ever, uh, my best friend's husband uh, fractured or cut his Achilles heel. Oh my God, it was, it's a, one of the hardest things to heal, you know, and this is where the masculine, it'll get harder to heal this these inner child wounds if we deny our truth. We won't have the confidence to move forward. We won't be guided, we'll feel more lost. And if we continue to suppress this, this atonement is still going to be happening for the divine masculine. They're not going to feel courageous. They're not going to feel good about themselves. They're going to lack the guidance by spirit until they're really done with the suffering. Now, let's take a look at divine feminine energies in regards to... Um, so I'm just trying that down just a little bit. Um, let's take a look at divine feminine energies if they decide to reveal themselves to be themselves unapolog unapologetically right if they decide to you know i'm gonna start that youtube page i'm gonna i'm gonna just start blogging i'm gonna write about my experiences that first step of being honest to get out of this cage to call in the storm this is the feminine energy helen of troy your beauty will shine forth divine feminine okay 
you'll become your radiant self. And if you do that, you'll gain your harvest, right? That's a really beautiful combination. Let's see what's going on with Divine Masculine. If the Divine Masculine decides to just reveal himself with this full moon and this path, what will come to light here for the Divine Masculine? Calling in the storm, ready to take a leap of faith, not be trapped in any type of old energies anymore. Wow. He will become the destroyer. And that goes perfect with the storm card. Shiva, the destroyer. You can't create anything new until you destroy an old foundation. You just can't. And this masculine with the snake, you know, the DNA, <coughs> the darkness, learning how to tame your own ego is what this masculine will gain. Massive enlightenment will learn when to break structures down, when to build up in the authenticity of spirit. And it, it's wonderful because look at how these two are looking at each other. You know, she can hold the beauty and the radiance of the divine feminine expression. And the masculine is looking at her and saying, I, my love, will destroy so we can create together. This is really beautiful. In these cards here, too, spirit wants you to realize he's, Odin is also looking here, you know, that this confidence is here in between them. That he's got to gain this confidence here. And they're looking at each other. Like, what are we going to do? Are we going to stay in the shadows? Is this another end or is this a new beginning? Right? Okay. Let's pull some tarot. Let's see what's going on in your story if you're watching this. Those are the shadows that are playing out. <clears throat> Let's uh, go a little bit deeper. I'm going to grab some tarot. I'm going to use my deck. It will be for sale once I get to, uh, I've got a lot in the next couple weeks. I'm hoping within the next, um, three, three weeks to a month or so, these will, I'm hoping this will be for sale. I know people have been emailing me for them too. So let's take a look and see what's going on. What energies are invoking for mission for the divine masculine, divine feminine. We're just going to see what comes out. We're just asking spirit, what is going to just come out, please. Whatever needs to come out for the full moon. So this betrayal card, okay, facing that is going to be very difficult with the Knight of Wands. Actioning that is going to be very difficult to move forward. There is a lot of betrayal in this connection is what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. And Spirit is saying it's not just betrayal of like third party energies. It's betrayal of confidence in, in regards to communication. I'm getting the feeling that somebody wasn't communicating properly, that they kept it in a very... Um, passionate sense. It was almost like dangling the carrot. I'm seeing the color of a carrot here. And Spirit is saying it caused a lot of betrayal, that the trust is very difficult. And I'm also seeing that that coming forward and revealing with this full moon is going to really cause a lot of betrayal in a lot of people's lives. And um, this fast action is very passionate. It's almost like it can't quite be held back. And what I'm also seeing with this betrayal is like it's a betrayal on all ends. I feel like it's the masculine energy here that it's going to affect everybody. It's almost like I'm seeing the masculine standing over. Uh, I just watched King Kong versus Godzilla <laughs> with my kids, the new one. And, you know, King Kong's on top of the mountain with all this destruction. And I'm seeing that as the king, you know, with that Shiva card though is out too, that it's going to cause betrayal, not just what he did to Divine Feminine, but also to everyone around him. And so he is back and forth with this energy. It's mirroring with Divine Feminine because she already experienced this with the Divine Masculine. And it's the same behavior pattern that's hiding in the shadows. And so Spirit is asking that these patterns come to an end with this full moon. Let's take a look at the more of the betrayal. What other cards need to come out here, Spirit? Okay. We have to let our guard down. Whatever we were defending in the past is no longer going to work anywhere. We can't give to those situations because it just continues to create um, a huge amount of unrequited love. Okay, we when we build these structures up, um, what happens is, and this is in reverse, we really stand our ground. It's like I'm king of the castle. 
and I worked hard to build this, you know, and I've been defending it for a long time. And now to let that down, it's going to cause a lot of disappointments. But <clears throat> if we continue with this way, you know, and give to the situation, it's it's gonna it's gonna keep causing more betrayal. It's like the momentum of betrayal just keeps building and building and building is what I'm seeing. And it's causing a lot of pain for everybody. And it's causing a lot of, you know, unrequited love here. This in and out energy is a maturing process I'm hearing the spirit is saying on both ends. Uh, Divine Feminine has been doing it, yeah, becoming awakened to the tower of what this what this energy is really doing. Okay, and same with Divine Feminine Energies, you may have been back and forth with your calling, back and forth of feeling your masculine, not feeling your masculine, getting frustrated with that. Spirit is saying that there's an awakening with this back and forth energy that is really coming to a downfall now, that this is a maturing process. I keep hearing a maturing process to end certain contracts here and whatever was built with the Nine of Cups in reverse is to have a renewal of self. Look at that. That, that's really beautiful so what's happening here as we're seeing the progression of letting the guard down knowing that this energy of the overall energy of this ten of swords the betrayal is hurting everyone not giving to the situation and realizing it's creating more instances of unrequited love it's it's not balanced we have to end contracts and things that we have built in the past and let go of the material world and let the tower fall for this brand new beginning for a uh, judgment and this is spirit saying i want to bring you further into a reconciliation with god for you to love yourself through this and to stop fighting this okay it's not a battle <clears throat> that you can win is what i'm hearing you're fighting with the divine and this is about maybe giving an apology to those owning up. It's a very big stance to come forward as a king or as a queen. And it's a very difficult stance to take. It takes a lot of humility. It takes a lot of, um, whew, a lot of humbleness, um, a deep surrender, and to take that ownership, okay? Um, I want to pull another... Just give me a sec. Let me see where Spirit is pulling me here. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. We'll grab those ones. Okay, so... I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. Let's see what other oracles are coming out here. <clears throat> I have so many decks here. <sighs> so... I'm going to just ask here about this progression that we're seeing again. Do we stay, <coughs> excuse me, do we stay in this or are we going to allow the new to come? So let's see if we stay, because that's what the Scorpio moon is really about. We have a choice, stay in the shadows or to reveal our deepest truths, okay, to everybody involved. And if we stay in it, Spirit, what oracles do you want to bring forward if we, if we stay in this betrayal place? Okay, we're going to have to continuously setting boundaries. We're going to be, uh, Spirit is saying, we're going to be bound to one area. Now, look how vast this is, okay? We have so much land to explore. There's so much adventure. But what I'm seeing is that it creates a boundary of energy if we don't reveal ourselves with this full moon, okay? It's going to create a boundary of energy that's going to keep you, I mean, this man is just sitting here. Is he sitting? Yeah, he's sitting on, oh, he's kind of like standing or kneeling and he, he, it seems like he can't move <laughs> from that space, you know? And so it's almost like this is my little spot, but he, he's being tempted by the outside world, but look how much more there is to discover, but I can't move from here. And Spirit is saying that is what the darkness of the Scorpio moon will take deeper into those shadows, okay? Let's see if we move into this judgment, allow the tower to fall, become humble in it, and to stop fighting what God is trying to do for us. How can we move forward now? 
<laughs> we hit a place of deep transformation. We find the light in the dark, okay? We see the moon, we see our shadows, and we find the special light that is deep inside of us. And when we move into here, we realize who the divine feminine is. Now look at these two cards. There's a masculine and a feminine here. One is here in the sunlight where the sun is coming up and one is here in the moonlight. And Spirit is saying this is the yin and yang process. And so if you're in separation, this masculine is looking out to the vast world and contemplating what is going on here. And Divine Feminine is going deep within herself and finding that light. And this is a perfect balance. But the Divine Feminine is sitting on the side of transformation and judgment and divine masculine has created his boundary wow it's very powerful guys Whew. all right let's let's see what else spirit brings to have a sip of water <clears throat> i hope you guys are enjoying this one all right so i'm getting pulled to do a before and after okay um pull so let me just grab that other deck that i had this is the uh before tarot and the after tarot so we're gonna see what's going to happen what shadow energies are playing out before we decide to uh reveal ourselves in the after tarot let's see what energies are playing out here in the before tarot so this is uh maybe some f near future predictions here um energies that are going to be playing out uh right now we're going to use the before tarot for today and um to and tomorrow and then we'll use the after tarot for the next two weeks to see how things play out okay let's take a look <clears throat> what is going on here soul connections and separation twin flames mission work thank you we're just gonna take it how for it resonates for you guys let's take a look what is going on here? I'm going to be also be doing all the horoscope readings, putting that out this week too for May. So make sure you subscribe if you are liking my readings and like that button, notification. And uh, if you want to know more about me, all the info is down below. All right. What energies are going to be coming to light her spirit in the before tarot for today and tomorrow, the next maybe couple of days? There's that nine of cups in reverse again, moving on to new energy and uh, the ego kind of being all over the place so yeah not having a good hold on those emotions right not being able to tame that ego kind of being all over the place uh knowing that we have to get in this boat now they're preparing this is a preparing to go into a new journey and however this is you or your masculine whatever it is it's about um getting their feet wet and being uncomfortable and getting actually into that boat making that decision even though things are very chaotic knowing that this nine of cups again is not for you let's see how the energy start to integrate if we decide to reveal ourselves over the next two weeks with the scorpio full moon <clears throat> For Scorpio full moon in the next two weeks for the energies to play out a little more since we have three on the other side. Thank you. Wow. <coughs> it's going to allow us to dream again. Fantasize. It's going to end our pain and it's going to open us up. Okay. In the next two weeks, we're going to actually be able to spirit show me with this card. It's not just about options. In his hand in the after tarot, he's already holding his abundance, right? Um, Spirit is saying, they're showing me this with the with the with this wreath around the strength card that this lion is actually coming for the wreath. So she hasn't even quite tamed the lion yet, okay? But in the after tarot, it's almost like it's that same wreath, okay? that he's gotten a hold of he was able to tame the lion it wasn't eaten it was preserved your abundance is there your dreams can still come true okay let's see what else in the divine um in the before um tarot um spirit is saying like this will end your pain 
and you slayed the dragon you faced your biggest fears and it's allowing you to open up you know if you still hung on in this after tarot death was coming for you <laughs> and not in a great way either that karma was gonna come and bite you in the bum so spirit is saying because you are opening up and letting go and you're taking allowing these full moon energies to allow you to open up it's going to end your pain it's going to bring your dreams to fruition so let's see <coughs> if we you know in the next couple of days we decide to stay in the shadows here with scorpio and go deeper what, what are we going to be contemplating here yeah, waking up, coming out of the hermit mode, right? We have the hermit in reverse, the lovers in reverse. <sighs> Making a decision in love. Look at the major arcana that just came out here too, right? We have the hermit in reverse. We have the lovers in reverse. And um, we have the six of wands in reverse. So this is really showing here, Spirit is saying that a decision, suppressing the truth that we're going, uh, this full moon is kind of really asking us to come out of our cave, to come out of this um, <laughs> contemplation place. It's not helping anymore. It's pretty much done with. So Spirit is really asking, you know, do you have to still contemplate? You know what you desire. You know what your heart is saying. You have to either end a relationship that's going to cause a lot of issues. I'm seeing that it is his third party, that things have failed in this in this. Uh, karmic energies okay the old energies it's done so why are we hanging on to this spirit is saying that if we reveal ourselves our dreams we allow our dreams to come in we end the pain and the anxiety for everybody and we open up and we let go and this is going to happen over the next two weeks or so if we decide to reveal that deepest truth okay <clears throat> hmm it's going to cause conflict and emotional imbalance, but we need to know how to stand in this darkness, okay, and come out of a place of apathy. You know, we have to be able to face these conflicts, but look at this. <coughs> Sorry, guys, look at this card. It's like I've won the conflict, right? He's holding his sword up, and the two have dropped. The past is walking away and saying, yeah, I'm going to go to the water to purify myself and heal myself. And here stands this person who has three swords in his hand. He's holding two in his hand and holding one up and two are on the floor. And he's over. I've seen that as three of swords in his hand. Like I've overcome the heartbreak. I've overcome this. The past is moving away now. I can dream about my dreams now. You know, I can, I have a perchance to dream is what I'm hearing. I, I'm given another opportunity. This instability of being able to actually slay my dragons. Um, yes, it's going to cause instability, but it's also pulling me out of a very stagnant place. And it's opening my heart center. It's allowing me to learn how to let go. Okay, so that's really beautiful. I'm going to clarify this page of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's going to cause a lot of instability, but it's going to be able to close off the past and move forward very quickly to a new beginning. So that's really beautiful here. Um, this conflict, let's clarify the conflict. Is If you reveal your truth, you will become victorious in this. Reveal the truth, the moon in reverse. Re reveal any secrets so your dreams can come forward here. If this is a relationship, let's clarify the lovers in reverse, to end something where things have failed. Look, it's been keeping the divine feminine away and then this card the divine feminine is sitting here with you know two children alone she has her divinity but she looks um not very pleased on this card she she looks like uh, tired um but this ending of this relationship trying to, to ponder this this um being all over the place so you know you haven't tamed the ego you haven't made this decision knowing that somebody has to make a decision here knowing that it's keeping their true divine feminine away right knowing that this connection has already failed look at this wow guys now if you want to look at synchronicities look at the synchronicities we have 
this Six of Cups in reverse in the after tarot. And if you look at this in the before tarot, I'm going to show you. This this uh, person here is, you know, planting the flowers here in the before tarot, right? This person is in pain. There's blood all over these swords because they're still laying there in their pain. Um, this person, this this uh, past person has not returned, but in the after tarot, there's two children running home, you know? And that means that they're going to close off the past, you know, um, and two children are going to be able to run home, the innocence of children. That's that first card that came up at the beginning, right, about the inner child. And Spirit is saying here, you know, what I'm seeing here, and these are the same cards, right? Because um, here's the dragon in the after chair. He has the strength to pull one of these these cards here. Just switching hands. Um, you know, it's no blood on it. He's gained the confidence to slay that dragon, to slay the ego, right? In the after tarot. And so even though it's unstable, um, it's it's being it's the ability to close off any past karmic energies. But here, you know, not being able to make this decision, contemplating it because you're in the strength in reverse, you haven't tamed the ego, um, it's causing more pain um, in the past connection. And it still looks like you're still trying to work on something here um, and plant things, but it's a painful planting. Um, it doesn't look very enjoyable with this Nine of Swords here because it's keeping the Divine Feminine away. And this has failed. Something has failed here. And this full moon is really bringing that up, that it's already failed. So why are we planting seeds? Like We can't give to this situation anymore now this is in reverse um six of pentacles in reverse but both of these people this this person is holding is holding this in the before tarot not giving anything to anybody this person is held back your person could be very held back ignoring everybody has gone into a cave not talking to anybody is being very cold is ignoring everybody but these people are begging it's almost like everybody wants something from this person and this person is really tired and fed up that knowing that something has failed here knowing that something has failed but people are still pestering this person for something and i feel like he just doesn't want it anymore um i feel this is a divine masculine here because the feminine has shown up and here we have the seven of swords in reverse that um, this is a plan. Now, he hasn't stolen anything. He hasn't done anything. He hasn't planned anything. This is getting ready to reveal the truth. And these swords are going to hurt. These swords of communication are going to hurt. Um, but they have to be honest here <coughs> with the decision they're making. Knowing that something has failed, okay? Now, let's see about this opening up here. And this apathy because there's two fours right there's two fours here which is about foundation is this a four yeah there are two fours so four is about foundation it's going to open up and bring things out of apathy if we reveal the truth about a relationship ending okay we have to reveal we have to reveal that something has failed something has ended and that's coming forward in the future, maybe to somebody else, a divine feminine, maybe something has failed to stop fighting. And look at this rushing in and not letting anything come in your way. If anybody tries to come in this person's way, I'm slaying their throat. I'm not fighting this anymore. I'm too tired. These people are sitting. They're not fighting anymore. They're done, right? They're completely done. This is why Spirit asked me to use this deck. The relationship is, is completely over. As you can see here, this is the after they have found each other. I feel this this person wants to rush in and talk about that they've ended this. It's over. And um, they don't want to fight this anymore. They're too fighting. Uh, too tired of fighting this connection any longer. Okay, I'm going to clarify that two of cups again. I feel that that is somebody from, the, from um, over here from the past. That's keeping the divine feminine away. Look at this, the seven of swords. <laughs> because this person is planning to end and come forward. Now, I want to show you the difference here in the two cards. This person has been able to gather all their swords that they can, plan it accordingly. They've been able to um, understand how they needed to carry what they needed to leave and be honest, even though that, you know, 
communication may have hurt. And so this, um, how did this flip? Was it upside down? <laughs> it looks like he's about to be caught. <laughs> um, but this is about planning and moving forward. Um, this person may be trying to plan and come forward and its plan is not going very well here about ending this relationship. So there may be some struggles in the future revealing and getting out of a sticky situation, but may come in with some very fast communication about not wanting to fight this. And this reminds me of Jesus on the cross uh, with Mary Magdalene feeding him at the cross. Their plans may not be going well to end a certain relationship, but their revelation of their truth, it's going to happen very quickly. They're going to stand their ground. They're not going to, they're done fighting. So if this divine feminine can feed like how Mary Magdalene fed Christ, you know, and uh, gave him water. I think it was, I don't quote me. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Um, but I'm seeing that here, like Mary Magdalene and Jesus and uh, their union and uh, gaining enlightenment through the depths of their pain together that they know what this connection is okay the planning is going to be it i feel like uh getting out of whatever karmic energies is very difficult and it's um it's going to be difficult they don't want to juggle this anymore but this person who needs to come forward is going to stand their ground okay this is in the after tarot he's juggling but he's also trying to balance and realizing the ships have finally come in and it's worth it and so whatever they need to do to come to their feminine jesus and mary magdalene this is what's happening wow <coughs> i'm going to clarify here a little bit more about the ego uh, not being able to tame the ego spirit. What is this This full moon in Scorpio? Not being able to tame the ego is uh, the rejection. Okay. Um, here they know that they have to uh, take this pentacle and give it. Um, but they don't, want, they don't want to give it to uh, the older energies, the energies that are holding them back. They want to start something new, but this dog isn't even tame. This dog is like chasing his own tail. Okay, so this person is not in a really great place to come forward with an offer, but I'm feeling this person wants to just at least start communicating again, at least wants to start talking, um, maybe about plans. Uh, they don't know how to quite get out of something, not sure about what's happening, may need some uh, advice from their counterpart. And um, that's why the ego is all over the place with the nine of cups in reverse. Like this isn't their wish. You know, they keep filling. I keep seeing that they keep filling these cups over and over. Oh, I've never noticed these children behind these cups. So look at this. There's little faces. I don't know if you guys can see that in between the cups. If you look, there's one like right there. Um, Spirit is saying, it's like, I was, I was getting channel, they're drinking all the water, like they just keep filling these cups, but it's not the 10th cup. It's like, it's just like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then these children, it's like a childish energy gets spilt over. They have to refill it. And they, it's like a loop that they're playing. And so this person knows that they have to move forward and reveal, uh, the rejection that they're not offering anything else and then tame the energies that come up as they reveal things and move forward because um, they're going to be able to close off the past and move things forward very quickly. But the plan, the plan is they're not sure about the plan and he's about to step and get caught. So there may not be full honesty that comes forward. So I, I would, I would be careful and set certain boundaries about that with this individual to make sure that you're also safe, right? Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at some life path, journey path numbers and uh, oracles. I hope you guys enjoy this. I wanted to do it at nighttime so it can seem a little bit more intimate. So let's take a look at the energies before if we decide not to reveal and we decide to reveal okay spirit thank you what are the energies that are going to play out leading up to revelation please spirit <laughs> revealing the truth love 
Okay, we're going to suppress a lot. Wow, there's a lot coming out here, you guys. Feeling like a failure in love. Oh, this is sad. This is so sad. No one's a failure in love. We have, we have patterns that we can't deal with. And accepting that, you know, things may have failed in the past with a certain connection. Knowing that this might just be a friendship now for, for happiness. Um, what I'm getting here is like, you know, there may be like a nice friendship that they gained out of this. They may be offering a friendship. They know that they're going between love and failure and accepting that this has failed in the past, right? Knowing that um, maybe I, if anything, I've gained a good friend out of this. And hopefully that can remain friendship so that we can be happy. And revealing the truth spirit with full moon and Scorpio to gain the highest enlightenment. Wow. There's going to be more growth that happens here as things are revealed, okay? This is the closing off. This energy here is the closing off, right, from the past. And this is what's going to happen as soon as we reveal ourselves. We may be a bit lonely, right? Because when we change into a vibration, we're usually alone with spirit. It's you and spirit to gain that understanding. You're going to have to rebuild your self-esteem. You're going to be called for service, right? But you're also going to have peace. And one more spirit. <laughs> about your indecisions i want one more for indecision what i'm getting here is that knight of wands they're showing me that was showing up you'll be able to <laughs> this is what i'm getting being able to um make decisions and have control that's part of the ego right um but that way of living didn't help when you move into a divine union or you move and reveal your deepest soul calling and your mission starts to come forward. You have to be lonely to know spirit. You have to build up your self-esteem to know that you're good enough to serve the divine. And so any indecisions that you have that you can't seem to make up your mind, it's about finding peace in those indecisions. And this indecision is about blaming ourselves. So somebody's blaming themselves for not being able to maybe make this decision sooner, but that's a guilt ridden, um, energy that we're going to have to allow that fear to go and hold that peace in any of those energies because it's not serving so this past looks like it's going to close off very good but as we move forward there's going to be some turmoil here in learning how to be in this new vibe and that usually happens when you move into a new vibration it's a new way of being it's a new way of feeling it's about faith it's about um, letting the ego go and holding peace in any type of look at this on the bottom and surrendering this okay for purpose okay try and find the humor in things right now okay um that's what we kind of have to do and these indecisions who's being blamed for what we can't worry about those things i feel that the the fear of moving forward and revealing self um, we have these ideas and it could be subconscious patterns too, that I'm not good enough for this service, my self-esteem, I, I'm going to be alone. I'm going to be back and forth. What if this person doesn't accept me? If I come back to my feminine or my masculine, what am I going to be blamed? I have to learn to hold peace in that. So there's a lot of, um, <coughs> excuse me, judgments that are happening and spirit is saying to make this transition we need to surrender for purpose and try and find the humor out of everything try and find the joke out of everything okay um i'm going to pull some let me see where spirit is guiding yeah thank you yeah This is for what Spirit's advice. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to close these off. This is Spirit's advice for you as you deal with these energies, okay? Coming in with the full moon and Scorpio tonight. Spirit is also saying set a special intention tonight, okay? And tomorrow, it's still very active tomorrow. Um, and pray, you know, and set your intentions of how you're going to reveal yourself and be honest with yourself. Let's see what uh, chakras need to be aligned, what chakras are going to be aligning with this full moon, and any other further advice for the viewer. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Wow. 
Wow, you guys. So, <laughs> there you have it. Abundance, okay? Your abundance is here. That came out the beginning of the reading. If, you're, if you decide to complete things, okay? I take these as they come in order. Your abundance and your soul and your self-esteem, your solar plexus, right? That's your confidence level. That's your ego. That's how you identify yourself. Remember, are you identifying yourself from an ego place or are you identifying yourself as a soul? <clears throat> Sorry, I needed some water. Um, here is the sacral. Knowing that you have to complete and put an end to old patterns here and go through a recovery stage in order to get the key of life here. And when that happens, creator can come in and start creating your dreams creating your true path where you're going to have a tremendous amount of gratitude friendship this is a divine uh, empress here birthing new things here okay love gratitude and knowing your self-worth in the sacral to step into that onto that throne as a king or a queen so <clears throat> your crown your sorry your um this is the crown chakra the uh, third eye chakra here is recovering your psychic abilities, having gratitude. Creator force is right here near the middle here of opening that crown chakra. Sacral is also here of uh, your uh, passion and where you want to uh, actively action your mission. Stand it going on your throne. Okay, completing things so that you can come onto this throne. And your self-esteem is going to push and leverage all of these things with this full moon. All right, let's see what else. <clears throat> Any final messages here for the viewer, please, for their full moon in Scorpio reading. If you guys like this, please don't forget to like. Please uh, subscribe with the notification bell. I'm going to be doing the Zodiacs in the next couple of days. They will be up next to two to four days. Uh, so make sure that you stay tuned for that. Okay. Any other further advice here for the viewer? Spirit with the Scorpio full moon. Okay. You guys may want to uh, do your own special ceremony. Oh, this card was here. Keeper of the scales, fairness and balance. So justice is here as well, okay? <clears throat> that, there. that was just a little special one. Okay. So what we have here is the lotus flower. There's an unfoldment that's happening here with the Scorpio full moon. When the lotus flower grows, it goes through a tremendous amount of guck and mud and darkness and you can't become this until you you know this beautiful flower to see the sun's rays and unfold in this way until you go through that darkness spirit wants to remind you that's what the full moon in scorpio is doing for you it is pulling you through some very dark heavy energies so that you can come into this beautiful awareness of yourself it is a purification your darkness has been a purifying of your soul you've got to trust that we cannot come to know great spirit and our calling until we have let go and surrendered a lot of what we have identified with and allow spirit to lead the way and that's a purification process this is about ceremonies and invocation so spirit is saying if there's anything that you want to uh create a ceremony that can be very simple it could be you know bearing something into the earth that you no longer wish it could just be playing some music and connecting to spirit there's another snake here look <laughs> your dna lineage healing that whatever you do if you're getting called to ceremony that would be a good way of releasing and letting go as well okay clouds <laughs> you're shape-shifting you're moving into the higher realms okay you're starting to learn more about your ability. Uh, thank you, Spirit saying, you know, high evolved souls can be a chameleon and shape shift uh, to work in different energies, but it becomes very tiring when you can wear that mask all the time. I've done it a long time. Um, that the shape shifting and the chameleon energy 
is a gift from source, but it's not to be used uh, to support your ego. It's to be used when you are holding space for people, when you are a healer, when you are in ceremonies, right? Um, that you can match their vibration and be there for them. It is not to hide behind and be complacent in yourself to please other people. That is a co-dependent pattern, okay? So this shape-shifting gift, a lot of you have this spirit is saying, is to be held in a higher regard for ritual, for spirit, for your mission. And so you may not know the unfolding of your mission yet, but it's coming, okay? And it's to be used in a very divine way, all right? You're just being purified now. And look, spirit wants you to just simply breathe as these changes happen. And whenever you doubt or get stuck in your mind, just keep going back, breathe, have faith in the power that spirit creates worlds as a one consciousness, the higher realms, it creates planets and galaxies, and it is more potent in that, uh, and especially if you're with a twin, is more potent than anything else on this planet. And nothing can keep you away for what is meant for you. You just need to breathe and surrender. All right, one final message that I will leave you with. And um, I don't want this one. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed this reading, guys. One final message for the viewer spirit. If there's anything that you would like to say to help them through the full moon and Scorpio energies, what is it that you would like to say to them, viewer spirit? Thank you. This is a great time of transformation. That's Scorpio energy right there. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. Look at the snake. We've had that throughout the reading, the DNA. Okay. So just know you're gaining enlightenment through massive transformation. Akasha, your divine guidance is divine. Your guidance is divinely guided. This is walking. Look at this. It's beautiful. Walking away from the dark into the higher realms. Walking up those stairs of the rain of the purification. Look at the water. Right? Look at the water. You've been purified. When you are able to reveal yourself, you're going to move out of this darkness and into a new portal of light energy. Okay? Your guidance is divinely guided when you trust. The ever unfolding rose. I can't make this up. Look at this. <sighs> Cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. As hard as that can be to become that. Look how beautiful that synchronicity is there, guys. No matter what is happening for you, it is for your highest purpose on this planet. The world is changing, my loves. We have to be ready. You're being prepared. Don't forget that, okay? If you're watching this, you're a new leader of the new earth. Don't look to the politicians and what's happening. They're not the true leaders. Things are going to fall, right? You are being prepared to become this beautiful flower. This is why we have to go through this being cracked open so things can be unfold. The unfolding can happen. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you. If you need to write that down and put that somewhere, please do that. It's happening for you, not to you. All right, you guys, that was your reading. So much love. Would love to hear what you think of that. And I'm sending you so much love in this full moon. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you soon. Bye.